This program is called Rainbow in the Dark. Uh, it consists of 10 um, art and therapy workshops. I'm going to have an exhibition. It's going to be in the dark. So my inspiration for the exhibition started when I go for exhibitions, they constantly have the label that says do not touch. So I started to think about how the visual impact is going to appreciate art. That's where I came up with the concept that the whole art exhibition is going to be in the dark. Art has always been my inspiration. So I come to know, you know, that uh, even, even though you are disabled, you are actually able to come up with a lot of uh, creative ideas uh, by feeling and touching the things. We work together as a family. I enjoy every moment of this artwork that we do, that I do with my friends, because they, they too are also doing the artwork. Most of my friends, they got their home skills and every time they done one piece already, we will have the sharing. One of the client, in the process of all the work, we heard a lot of banging sound. So he was quite happy in that corner banging way. At the end of the session, he had to share. So he had put this beautiful piece of work. All those who could see praised him for this piece of beautiful work done. And when one to ask him, can you tell us why did you do this? And he said, oh, it's because I am so angry. Then said, okay, so how would you like to title your piece of work? And you know what he replied? Release. This art program I went to allowed me to <coughs> express myself in, in ways that words cannot describe. Who knows how many people will be passing through the gates of the exhibition hall and how they will be impacted by what we visually handicapped can do. Hi, uh, my name is B.I. I'm a practicing art artist. My work mainly dealing with installation. Lately, I also work with uh, community, which is a uh, kind of co-creation. This project uh, is called Fancy Tree. It's a belief of we all can do some things, regardless of your ability. Most of them have, you know, we have this difficulty in, in making a communication. Certain things we may not necessarily really have to use a language, but they see something that they, they can translate and they can put it on the paper. It's not perfection, but they are trying to, to say that, okay, this is what I want to do. This is all about, I think, a form of language, I think. Normally, we do simple arts like drawing, colouring, Individually, but this program, the title is uh, Fancy Tree, so required teamwork. So it gives us a chance for the teacher and client, and also the artist to interact more. How old are you? Thirty-three. Would you like to do a new one, new animals? Pig. You want to do pig? I'm very proud of all of them because all of them contributed the result. It's so wonderful. <laughs>